one heat. Heat number one. Men's 1500 freestyle in the water. Gavin Foreman of Berkeley Aquatic Club in lane number two out of New Jersey. Marian Nera of Gator Swim Club out of Florida in lane three. Hedve Page, also Gator Swim Club, he is in four. Zane Grothy, Boulder City Henderson Swim Club in lane five. Alex Iniar of Tsunami Swim Team of KC in six. Marwan Ali El Kamash of Indiana Swim Club out of Egypt in lane seven. And Aiden Dunn. Uh, local FMC Aquatic, he is in lane number eight. Right off the bat, a three-horse race here at the 200-meter mark. And leading the way is Grothy, 159.26 for him. They are at a 159.29. And then El Kamalsh at a 159.35. So 900s of a second separate them at the 200 and in the far too early category. Zane Grothy with the current lead. Grothy a silver in this event at the Pan Pacific Games back in 2018. And now leading the way is Inyard. Or a Nair, excuse me, 30057 for him. Everybody in that little pack has kind of settled in at that 30.6 to 31.0 range. And expect for them to feed off of each other, pushing the pace at different times. So Alkamash continues to lead in lane seven, led at the 350 and 400. So already we've had three different leaders. Grothy led for the first 200. Inyard for the next 100 meters and Alkamash for the next 100 meters. One thing I've learned after getting to watch Grothy, you can never count him out. He has quite the ability to Accelerate in the back half of long races like this.
El Camash settling in 31-1, but and they are in the 31-0, not being outdone. He's only seven hundredths of a second off the lead. Grothy two seconds off that lead. That's at the 500 meter marks. One third of the way down, 500 meters past, 1,000 meters to go. And Kamash's lead now as large as nine hundredths of a second. New York's personal best, 15.22.66, swam that last August at the Speedo Summer, Speedo Summer Championships out west. The Texas commit now only trailing by one one hundredth of a second. So very consistent, growthy, a little bit back on the pace, split a 33.7 on that 50 coming into the 600 mark. And at the 650, Inyart takes the lead from El Camas now, three hundredths of a second to him. Kamash, the owner of the Egyptian national record in the 200 and 400 freestyle. Egyptian record of 14.53.66 in the 1500. Not on pace for that right now, but has threatened it in the past. So that's the halfway mark for anyone who's in the lead. El Kamash, 12 hundredths of a second. Grothy. Now down to nine seconds behind that lead pace, so would have a lot of work to do if he were to track them down. But the 18-year-old from Tsunami Swim Team of KC continues to lead the way. Granted, that lead has been very slim and continues to be slim, under a tenth of a second still. Huge gap considering what types of leads we've seen so far. 17 hundredths of a second now. Splitting the exact same split, 30.90. These two are equal to a T. In here at the 18-year-old, El Kamash, the 28-year-old from Indiana Swim Club. Right here will be two-thirds of the way through, so 500 meters remaining for these two. 
And the gap continues to be very slight. And watch out for Aaron Nira in lane number three. The Gator trying to chase down Zane Grothy to edge his way up onto the podium. Out splitting Grothy by about eight tenths of a second the past few 50s. Continuing to eat into his lead. Now only about two and a half to three seconds behind him. Those of you watching at home, they're towards the bottom of your screen going to the left. But our two leaders right now on the top of the screen going to the right. That is Iniart, Alec Iniart, the Texas Longhorn next fall, taking on the Indiana Swim Club with Hoosier out of Egypt. And these two gentlemen are headed to the final 400 meters. As we start wrapping up this 1500, a reminder that the races get shorter, they get a little bit tighter, and they definitely get as exciting as you can handle. And that's gonna be taking place all weekend long, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in this building. Prelims each morning at 9 a.m. And then our finals each evening at 6 p.m. Make sure to get in your seats on time. Like I already mentioned, tomorrow night, the 100 freestyle, 100 breaststrokes, some big names that you'll know and recognize from both the Olympic Games as well as the professional world of swimming, swimming the 100 breaststroke tomorrow, 200 butterfly. Katie Ledecky swimming the 400 freestyle tomorrow as well. Continuing to show her improvement week after week. Continuing to show, well, that's a great race. It's Alec Iniart, the 18-year-old, taking on Marwan Ali El Kamash. And the lead continues to be of the slimmest of margins. This would be a tight race if it was a 200 freestyle, but it's a 1500. They've got 300 meters to go. Grothy's kind of accelerated, seeing the advances of Aaron Neira in lane three. He's now down to 31 fives, 31 fours, so. Maybe knowing exactly what his pace needed to be and saving for that. And you start to get the sense that we're going to have an all out sprint on this final 200 meters between our two leaders. Any yard in six. Marwan Ali Al Kamash in lane seven. And Iniart tried to accelerate. He got sub 31, but Marwan Ali El Kamash did the same thing. Now only five hundredths of a second separate the two of them. Final 200 meters now. To find that gold medal in the 1500 freestyle. One of the nice things of only having one heat is you know exactly where you stand. No other results to factor in, and that's what we've got right now. Grothy continuing to hold off the charge of Neira for third, so it's going to really only boil down to this top two race, and Marwan Ali El Kamash takes the lead at the 1350. So the bell lap for each of them. Any art in Ali El Kamash. Iniart takes the lead back in a 30.3. A very strong third to last 50. Final 100 meters now. The gap was three tenths of a second at the 1350 in favor of El Kamash. Three tenths of a second at the 1400 in the favor of Iniart. Final turn now for this 1500. What a great race we've had here. The lead down to 17 hundredths of a second, and they are going to sprint to the finish. Alec Iniart, Marwan Ali El Kamash, battling literally stroke for stroke for the past 15 minutes, and it's going to come down to who can get their hand on the wall first. And that experience from Marwan 
Ali Al Kamash looks like it will pay off and he will win the 1500, 15, 18, 45 for him. A lifetime best time for Alec in here at a 15, 19, 17. He beats his seed time by two and a half full seconds and battles one of the best in the sport. Grothy trying to keep an eye on Nera. He will hold him off in the final few meters. Grothy finishing in third with that 15.42.77. Nera with a 15.43.29 rounds out the top four. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, prelims tomorrow 9 a.m. and then finals at 6 p.m. It'll be an exciting evening as well. If you thought you saw some superstars tonight, you're going to see all the superstars tomorrow night. Friday night and Saturday night. So make sure to get here early, get the good seat, take a look at those heat sheets ahead of time, figure out where your favorites are gonna be swimming. Get yourself into an awesome spot to cheer them on. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for all of our 1500 freestyle swimmers this evening. Congratulations to our champ, Marwan Ali El Kamosh out of Indiana Swim Club with that 15-18-45. That wraps up this evening's session. Like I said, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for prelims. Thanks for joining us this evening. Drive safe. We'll see you in the morning.